Hi, Mr. Rabelais here with a homework helper on how to do homework. Now I know that sounds like a simple thing because kids have been doing homework since kindergarten, coming home and doing ABCs and colors and numbers and shapes and things. But as they grow a little, a little bit older and get a little bit more progressive, uh, progressively harder, it's important to kind of establish some rules or I have some tips for homework. So parents, listen to these tips, use them, I promise you they'll make a difference in your, your kids' success in school because homework's so important. Number one is, I'm a firm believer that parents are the first and best teachers. And parents, whether you know it or not, you're the ones with the most influence. All I can really do is try to take your kid from the time I have them here at school, but they really love and respect you, even a bad parent. I've seen kids come every day to school. They really care what you think. They don't tell you. Maybe they don't act like it. But you've got to be the one that sets the standard. If the parents set the right expectation about homework, homework's important, let's sit down, let's get it done, the kid will think it's important. If a parent just says, ah, go do your homework, you're, in, you're punished, you're in your room, that's exactly what the kid's going to think about homework. Don't do that to your kid. This is really where they get the practice. They have to have that repetition. I always say, tell me, show me, let me try, and repeat, and repeat, and repeat, and repeat, and that could go on forever. They get that repetition, that really that practice, that repetition at home. Parents, this is so important. Number two is obviously I have to have a quiet place, no TV. I hear kids saying all the time, I was trying to do my homework, but my brother was playing Xbox and I couldn't get my homework done. Please, parents, set a homework sanctuary. If it's at the kitchen table, fine. If it's in the room, fine. If it's on the floor, on the hallway, fine. Just give them a good quiet place to do their homework. Number three, work together with your kid. Just take a few minutes. I know it's tough. Two kids, three kids, five kids, whatever it happens to be. I raised three myself. It's a commitment. It's a real commitment on the parents' part to sit down and do the homework with them. Don't just send them off to do it and then say, I'll check it when you come back. Unless you've got some trust in your child that you know, go do it. I want to see your work. I want to bring it back. I'm okay with that. But when you're starting out just teaching them this homework skill, you've got to do it with them. Do it with them for three weeks, make it a habit, and then you can back off and you can say, okay, now you know how to do that problem. I expect to see your work. I expect to see labeling. I expect to see the problem solving process, whatever it happens to be. Now I know what you're thinking, but you've got to start out for three or four weeks working with your kid to make sure you understand they're going through the thought process of getting that homework done correctly. 40 minutes max for fourth graders anyway, about 40 minutes max for, you know, math and all that kind of stuff, plus another 20 minutes of reading. Now, I understand that they need to do 20 minutes of reading probably every night. That's a good skill for math, for science, for language arts. It really doesn't matter. Reading is so key. But let the kids do about 40 minutes of some of the other academic homework and then set aside another 20 minutes for them to read. They don't have to read right there kind of while you're getting dinner ready or they're coming in and out going and playing. They can read later after they take their bath and maybe they're getting ready for bed. Reading together is another great way to model for your kids how to read and how to do that homework, that reading homework. The last one is, I tell my parents all the time, if they've reached the point of frustration, if they're having a bad day, if you're having a bad day, just cut it off. Send a note to the teacher. I don't know any teacher in the world that wouldn't take a note from a parent that said, we had a bad night last night, I cut homework off at number three. I realize over six, because homework is practice. Very, very few teachers want to take you know, serious grades on homework because we know that you're helping your kid or we hope that you're helping your kid. So really, that you really need to know your kid Really understand that homework is not so much an assignment, but it's part of that repetition. It's that repeating. It's that repeating. So help us out, parents. Help your kid out. Help them get good practice. There's an old saying that says practice makes perfect, but it's got to be good practice. It can't just be bad practice. A lot of times kids will come in with homework, and they say, hey, my dad told me this, or my mom told me that, and we're like, ah, please. You know, so if you have questions, that's what these homework helpers are for. Go plug yourself into a homework helper, or for goodness sakes, Call your teacher, write your teacher an email, whatever it happens to be. Understand what's expected, what kind of practice, what kind of repetition, and you can do homework helpers for homework. Be a good homework student. Thanks.